I'll go get the boost. Um, yeah, I'll get the boost. So today we'll be showcasing a build that is one of the most broken builds in the Division 2. And I'm surprised this hasn't been tweaked at all, at least on the PvP side, because when you pair this with certain talents, this becomes an issue. And the funny thing is these skills are more viable in PvP than they are in PvE. So it's not even a thing of nerfing them for PvE or PvP because more people don't use this as much in PvE as they do in PvP. The way a lot of the guys are running it, they are running the technician class because they do want that 10% extra skill damage. Plus they want the extra one skill tier allowing you to spec into at least one more blue. So you can have a little bit more armor. As you can see, we're sitting at 913,000 armor. Plus, we do still get six yellows with this build. For the weapon, well, ideally, it doesn't really matter when you guys are running this in PvP, but you can run Everlasting Gaze if you guys want to get more status effect damage. And the reason why is because of the talent, headshots grant 50% status effect damage and duration to the next status effect you apply. So if you can find an enemy from distance or running around, you shoot them in the head, that next sticky bomb that you hit them with is going to cause insane amount of damage. And that's when this sticky bomb gets very, very overpowered. And you guys are going to see how the build is specced in just a second. So the weapon we are running that you probably see that spreads to everybody is the burn sticky bomb. And that right there is probably one of the more OP talents in the game. If you look right here, we have the regular damage, the duration 14 seconds and PVP damage 430,000. Now the thing you need to make sure that you guys pay attention to is my proficiency level on this is zero. So like it is not even expertise 20, which you can get an additional 20% burn damage from this. And that's where this gets kind of crazy and, and how much damage you can actually put out with this. So the way the build is spec'd, it's spec'd to put out straight damage and status effects. So we have the biomass, which has status effects, hazard protection, skill haste, and then look, take a look at this. It has toxic delivery. Status effects also apply a damage over time debuff for 10 seconds. Total damage is dealt to equal 50% of your concussion grenade. So that's why when you do get someone on status effect, right, and they do take that burn damage, they're also taking toxic delivery damage, which is kind of crazy, the amount of status effects and damage you're doing to these guys with this. And that's why it's so hard to counter these builds. Now for the chest piece, we are running a three piece Empress International for that skill haste, skill damage, skill efficiency. Remember skill efficiency also hits status effects, skill haste, skill damage, so it's everything in one. So that's why the build continues to improve. We have skill tier on here, we have skill damage, we have headshot damage, I would like to have status effects on here. And then you have skill haste, and then we have glass cannon. All damage you deal is amplified by 25%. This is including everything you do with your skill build. So that's why it's a pretty, crazy combo to run this now for the holster i am running a golden gear holster now like i told you guys with the technician class they're allowed to run one piece blue or red because they get that free skill tier and they'll always hit six skill tier so the golden gear you can roll armor and then you have status effects and skill damage on here for the knee pads we have another piece of empress international skill tier skill damage status effects and that's what you guys want to have that skill damage and stat effect for this build for the gloves, we have the Wyvern wear for the 10% skill damage. We have skill tier on here. We have skill damage and status effects. And then finally, we have the backpack Empress International. So we have skill tier, skill damage, skill haze. Status effects will be a better spot here. We have a skill haze mod, but creeping death is what makes this even crazier. And that's what you guys saw. When I hit one guy, I took out three with one sticky. And then the other time I took out two guys with one sticky. And it's all because creeping death, when you apply status effects, also applies to all enemies within eight meters of your target. So that means that they're taking all of that damage. So you're gonna be able to spread that status onto all everybody who's within those eight meters. And a lot of times these guys are grouped up together. So this is kind of like my build to fight skill build players. If, if I'm starting to get hit with a lot of stickies, I get a little tired of it, I, I, I pull this out, I give them a little taste of their own medicine, and it's not pretty once you guys start hitting people with this. And that is the build, guys. That is the full build breakdown right there. This is a lot of damage, guys, and this is probably one of the most broken builds in the game. A lot of people say, well, you could run a full hazard protection build. Well, yes, you could, but then you have 
a team that has one skill build player running this and then they have three DPS and what are you gonna do? You're gonna shoot pellets at them? Why are you getting put on fire and you, okay, you're not getting hit with fire, but they're burning you, they're, they're destroying you. Or you could run a DPS build, you could fight the other players and then take the chance of getting hit with this. And even if you run a 1.7 million armament build with no hazard protection, you're gonna end up, even if you have the booster hive, by the time you drop the booster hive, you'll probably run through one to two med kits. And if you're not using the firewall specialization, oh, you ran through two for sure. The only specialization I wanna say that can actually handle getting hit with this is if you are running the firewall specialization. So there again, it limits you to one. And that's why I say in this game, the status effect builds are not balanced enough for at least on the PVP side. And the funny thing is a lot of people don't even use this for PVE. They, they, there's a ton of better skills to spread those status effects to enemies and this one just isn't it because you only get one shot. But most people use it for PvP and it's probably one of the most unbalanced skill builds out there. But yep, yeah, here it is. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. If you guys have any questions, let me know. I'll see you in the next one. Ain't nothing but skills out.